Welcome back. Today I'll be taking you through a quick and easy cool down routine to add to the end of your workouts. So it's really important to take the time to go through a cool down for a couple of reasons. One, it helps slow our heart rate down, get our heart rate down to a more manageable level. And two, it's good at managing some of the post-workout soreness that can happen the next day. And it also just feels really good, which is another reason that I love this particular cool down. So to perform, we're gonna need a band. You can also use a towel, anything that you can kind of wrap around your foot right here and just follow along. So we're gonna start on our butts, wrapping the band around our foot, and then we're gonna lay back, bringing this foot down. So we're gonna start with just a simple hamstring stretch. So you can use your arms to pull your foot back to get that stretch on the back of the leg here. Now there's a couple things that you can do to kind of change this stretch and move where you feel it. One is just slightly bend the knee. So Bring in bending and straightening the knee. When you have a straight knee, you'll probably feel the stretch on the back of the knee here. But if you want to get more of a stretch in the belly of the hamstring muscle, just slightly bend and you can pull your knee back a little bit further probably. And that's going to move the stretch into that belly of the hamstring muscle. So I like to, when I do it, just straighten and bend. Again, it's, there's no right or wrong. It's just whatever feels good for you. If you wanted to get a little bit more of a stretch on the hamstring, just move the band up towards the top part of your foot to pull the top of the foot down. And that's gonna move that stretch more into the back of the calf area there. So once you've done that for about a minute or two, you're gonna stretch the low back and the right side hip. So what I'm gonna do if I'm using my right foot is use my left hand to pull this foot over keeping my right shoulder as close to the ground as I can. And again, just a gentle stretch on this lower back, but also the glutes as well. And again, if you want to play around with just bending the knee, just whatever feels good. And then come back to the top. And then the last one we're going to do is just a little bit of a hip stretch or a hip capsule stretch mobilization. And so to do that, we're going to bend the knee and pull the foot close to us to kind of stretch that hip there. And again, you can kind of move your hip around. It's going to be wherever you feel tight, pressing that knee down, pulling that knee closer. A lot of times I like to kind of straighten and bend just to get that movement, mobilize those joints. Again, as we're doing this, we're just slowing down our breaths to get our heart rate down. So I like to spend minute and a half, two minutes on one side. And then to switch, you can just keep this foot up, bring your left foot up and bring your right foot down. And we're going to go through the same routine on the left. So start with just a gentle hamstring stretch. You can straighten the legs or straighten, straighten the leg, bend the knee just to change where you feel the stretch on that hamstring. You want the calf move the band up to the toe to pull the foot back that's going to stretch your calf your achilles tendon if that's feeling tight again all of this is just based on what you're feeling stretch what feels good to you next we're going to pull that foot over keeping our opposite shoulder down to stretch that lower back good coming back to the top and then the last one is that hip mobilization. So just pulling that foot close to us. And again, you can hold it there. I like to add a little bit of movement back and forth. Just whatever feels good. Whatever feels good for you. Really slowing down your breath, getting a good stretch on these muscles to prevent or manage a lot of that post-workout soreness that can happen the next day. There you have it. So that's our quick and easy cool down to add to the end of your workouts. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm here to help. Thank you so much for watching. 